and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. You can find me on Instagram at Roaming Reseller. I will have my eBay store and Poshmark closet listed down below. Uh, today's haul is going to be uh, some items I picked up at the Austin Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Bins. Uh, there I pay $1.59 a pound. Uh, this day I spent right at $40 um, on items I picked up, like right at 25 pounds uh, of inventory. Um, on the items that I'm going to show you today that I'm actually putting in my closet, um, I only spent about $30 for my inventory. I did pick up some items for personal use. Um, a couple items that I picked up uh, that I won't be reselling is, uh, the first item is this package of tissue paper. Anytime, especially if I'm at the bins and I see tissue paper like this, I grab it. Uh, I like to have this to put into shoes, uh, to wrap around packages, um, put a little bow and uh, thank you note with it. So uh, these sometimes can be pricey um, at regular stores. And so if I see these at the bins, um, this probably costs a quarter. <clears throat> Second thing I uh, picked up is this is a little free people bag. What I'll do with this, uh, I'm not gonna resell this. So what I, I might do with this is at some point if I sell an item that is a free people shirt or something like that, I may use this um, to put the item in, to wrap the item in this. So anytime I see little bags like this, I pick them up either to uh, try and, and have a bunch where I can lock together or to kind of in the situation like a dust, you know, a duster bag. If you see a coach duster bag or something, you know, like that, you pick it up uh, to be able to put your items in when you sell them. And I like to do this with items like free people and things like that, uh, just as a little added bonus um, for people when they, they buy an item by that brand. The next thing I picked up is uh, just a really cute little poo onesie in this pink and white. Uh, my daughter's best friend is expecting a girl in December, and so it was in perfect condition. I've got it all washed up. I'll give that to her. <clears throat> and then the last thing uh, that I'll show you that I picked up um, that won't be for resale is just this Polaroid old school camera. Uh, my brother-in-law uh, collects cameras and so we saw this, picked it up for him and I'll give that to him. All right, so everything else will be things that I'll be selling, uh, like I said, on my eBay store, uh, Poshmark closet, and then some of the items will get cross-listed to Macari. So we'll go through this. There are a couple items that have already sold. There was a few items, uh, some of the shoes and purses. I went ahead and had listed, had taken pictures and got uh, posted. And so two of the items actually sold yesterday. And so I'm gonna show them in this video and then they're going out to their new home today. Uh, there was one pair of shoes that uh, as soon as I got them I got them listed within a couple of days and this was I, I think it was probably about two weeks ago that I went to the the Austin bins and um, it was a brand I'd never seen before had no idea about it and they were in pretty rough condition in the bins and <clears throat> they were actually in separate bins but I noticed that they were made in Turkey and so a while back I was watching uh, one of Courtney's videos over at Common Tags. I'll list her store down below. Uh, love watching all her content. She also has a lifestyle a second channel. I'll list that as well as City Girl Unplugged. Um, I love watching her her videos. I've, I've learned a lot from her. A couple of high, my high dollar sales are because of um, watching her and just listening to brands and some you know tips and tricks that she has with things. One thing she said in one of her videos was she always, if she doesn't know a brand, but she notices that it was um, like made in Turkey or made in Germany or made, you know, just not the normal made in 
uh, countries that you will see on tags, that she always picks those up and takes a look at them just because um, a lot of times that they're higher dollar amounts. So the, the shoes that I saw were Saba, S-A-B-A-H, uh, made in Turkey. They are leather loafer, like cover style shoes. And when I looked them up, the comps were unreal. The sell through rate was unreal. So I picked those up. Uh, they were black, uh, did the leather wipes, did some cleaning on them. Uh, and in less than a week, they sold for full asking price of $98. So thank you, um, Courtney, for that uh, advice on to, to look things up. Uh, so those, that was from this haul also. Um, and, um, but I don't have those to show to you. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with this haul. Uh, the first one I want to show you that I am going to be selling is just some black slingback little Crocs. These are a size women's seven. Uh, the way I'm going to tell you the pricing, a lot of people, if say they spend $40 at the bins and I have 28 items, um, today that I'm going to be showing you that I'm going to be listing. Some people would take that, um, the $40 or the, you know, however much they spent divided by the items and they do that as the cost of goods. The way I like to do it is I weigh the item and then I real, you know, figure out how much that it actually cost me. So these cost me 65 cents. Um, I always pick up Crocs as long as they're in good condition. Uh, even sometimes if they're, you know, worn, but there's no cracks, there's nothing missing off of it. Uh, I pick them up because they always sell very quickly for me and they're a really good return uh, on how much they cost you. So these cost 65 cents and I'm hoping to get between 15 and $20 for these. The next item is a pair of Brighton sandals. This is the first time I've picked up Brighton. Uh, I am going to have to do, they've got like gel little inserts in here. So I'm gonna have to take those out and then clean up where those were at. But they're in really pretty good condition. There's a couple of, you know, the cork that's missing off of here, but the top of them are in really good condition. It's got this really pretty um, little decorative piece there with the braiding. So on these, I paid uh, $1.40 and I'm hoping for about 32 to 35 those <clears throat> next thing I picked up I'm gonna do all the shoes first uh, are these dance go like clogs they have the suede here and it's suede on here uh, these I do need to to do some cleaning on them I have not cleaned these yet um, so these cost me 215 and I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for those. I always um, pick up Dansko. Normally the Dansko I picked up, pick up are more along, along the lines of like nursing shoes and that healthcare professionals will wear. So this is my first pair of Danskos that I picked up that are more um, just like a casual piece uh, and not a work type shoe. So I'm interested to see how those will do. <coughs> Excuse me. The next pair that I picked up are these aerosol the heel rest they are in perfect condition I mean they look like they've ever been worn there's no wear on the heels these cost a dollar ninety eight and on these I'm hoping to get um, between like 32 and 38 uh, they do have the hook and latch uh, I have learned not to use the word Velcro in listings uh, because that is trademark. So you use uh, hook, hook and latch or hook and loop. I think it is. I'm sorry, hook and loop. I think it is. But these are just a navy uh, leather with a round toe. So those were really pretty. <clears throat> the next thing I picked up. Um, I searched everywhere for the other one of this, but it's Salvatore Ferragamo. It's the first time I've ever seen this brand out in the wild. Looked everywhere for the other one. I uh, couldn't find it. 
but I did go ahead and just pick up this one uh, and that is from watching uh, Denali over on uh, she's known as El Ducho and uh, I'll link her store down below she's another one I also love to watch all of her stuff but she picks up a lot of single shoes uh, either if someone's looking for the matching pair you know the the missing shoe for their pair or amputees or things like that so I figured you know I'll pick it up it I think it cost me like 75 cents and I hope it, maybe like 15 bucks for this but I figured I'd give it a shot on that one and then the next item the next pair of shoes I got are these stride right these like took me back to childhood <laughs> when we would go to stride right uh, but just a very cute navy and white leather shoe these um cost like a dollar 15 and i'm hoping for about 20 to 25 on those but i've got to clean them up but i think that they'll clean up very nicely the soles are in great condition you can see that they still got the goodwill sticker on there and then these last pair of shoes these actually sold yesterday and they will be going out to their new home today uh, these when I saw them in the bin they were you know they've got marks and stuff here but they're the knee link like English riding style boot and so let me see if I can show here so when I looked in, I don't know if you can see it. It was very hard to, I, I couldn't tell out the whole, um, the whole name of it. I got the Sesto part and then couldn't read the, the rest of the part. So I just went on to Google and went on to Poshmark and eBay and started, um, you know, the part that I could read out, I, I put on and, um, it, popped up with, with this style boot <clears throat> so I had these listed I think for 40 or 45 they do have wear on the, the bottom and and I got an offer for $30 and I thought you know what sold uh, just because um, there is you know the wear and stuff here on them so these are going to their new home home today all right, so that is it with the shoes. Now on to the purses. This purse right here. Oops, I got stuff dropping over here. My stack is too high. Okay, so this was a first thing for me. I thought it was really cute with the bamboo handle, but then it also had the leather strap, and it is... Planeo Vazani. I know I'm probably messing that up. So I listed this. I list started it at 42. I got an offer yesterday for 35 and I accepted it. So it is going off to its new home today. It's got the cute, almost kind of like animal style print, this block pattern um, on the inside. So just <clears throat> very cute. Uh, this one, it, the cost on it was $1.25, so $1.25 into $35. I'll take it every day of the week. All right, next little purse I picked up is just this bamboo slat purse. I thought it was super cute. It's got the little latch thing on the back there. Now the, if you can see there, it does say Costa Rica on there. <clears throat> and it's just a fabric style there. So this cost, um, it was like a dollar. And I'll probably list this, uh, hoping for about 15 to 20 on this. But I just thought it was really cute. And for somebody that's maybe going to be traveling, um, it's just super cute purse. 
All right. Another thing I always pick up, especially at the bins, is any type of new in the package tights, leggings, uh, pantyhose. I saw these. A lot of times I don't even look them up. I just throw them in my cart because I know that they're gonna cost like a quarter. And sometimes you can sell them anywhere from, you know, seven to $10. These right here are Style Gaga uh, fashion tights. They're footless. They cost 30 cents. And I was very surprised looking at the comps. Um, I can be able to expect about 12 to $15 on these. So that'll be a nice little return on that. Next thing I found was this Victoria's Secret bikini top. It did not have a strap with it, but that was okay because look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. And none of it is missing. There's no chips or dings or anything like that with it. <clears throat> so I just thought this was a gorgeous piece. Um, this cost 40 cents and looking at comps, hoping to get about 25, um, 22 to 28, something like that, 25, hoping for. So that's not bad. Next thing I found was this little pair of Theory shorts, these denim shorts. Even though it is winter time, I still, uh, when I find uh, shorts or summer, spring type items, I go ahead and pick them up. Um, right now I'm focused on trying to get uh, all the winter stuff, of course, uh, up on my closet in my store, but I'll have this ready to go. Uh, shorts are super, super easy uh, to photograph, to list. So these Theory shorts cost 60 cents and I'm hoping on uh, about 22 to $25 on these. Just a cute little pair, and these are a size double zero. So they may sit for a little while just because they are a smaller size, and there is the tag there on that. Next thing are just some Columbia cargo pants. There we go, they're size six. I do have to, everything is, I have washed everything already, but um, I'm just gonna have to steam these. <clears throat> They've got the little tie feature down here, the back pockets, elastic waistband, but it does have the, still has a zipper on there. So on these, they cost a dollar, and I'm hoping for about 18 to $22 on those. The next item is, I don't pick up a lot of Old Navy, but I picked this up. It's an Old Navy maternity, just a denim skirt. It is, let's see what size it is, it's size eight. So who doesn't like just a little classic denim skirt on that? Uh, it was a dollar, I'm hoping for about $20 on this. Next thing was Abercrombie and Fitch. It's a size medium. <clears throat> it's just a little pink. Uh, just a lightweight little pullover sweatshirt. Perfect for this time of year. Like I said, I do have to do some steaming and get all these wrinkles out. Uh, this cost about a dollar. I'm hoping for about 15 on that. Next thing I picked up was this Motherhood Intimates. It is a 36 double D. <clears throat> it's a maternity bra. So uh, it's in good condition. There's no None of the elastic is messed up. There's no holes or anything like that. It's just a classic beige color. So on this, my cost was 30 cents and hoping for about 10 to $12 on that. Now this next one 
if my daughter, who is about to be 21, was still a little girl, I would be keeping this for her. <clears throat> this is Iris and Ivy. It's a size six. But look at how gorgeous this is. Let me scoot back so you can get the gold. So it's a sleeveless, it's a black and white with this little, what would this be like a little tulip bottom or, and then with this pop of the magenta with the rose and then a little tie in the back. But I just, I thought this was gorgeous. And depending on, you know, especially for us down here in the South, uh, a lot of times you're in shorts on Christmas, depending um, on what year it is, because some years, you, you know, we're freezing and then other years it's 80 degrees outside. But I just, I thought this would be a perfect little holiday dress or Sunday church dress. So that cost uh, 55 cents because it weighs next to nothing. And I'm hoping uh, like 20 to 25 on that. Well, this next item is, it's enough about me. And it's just a little, just a little romper. I normally would not have picked this up, but with it being at the bins and it's so lightweight, I think it costs 50 cents. So I'm only hoping for about 10 to $12 on this, but it's a great piece for me to save back for spring and summer. And, um, you know, it's just a cute little romper. I like the little cross back here. But anytime, you know, even if it's not a real well-known brand <clears throat> or the comps aren't that high, if you can get it for 50 cents, you know, under a dollar, and then make, you know, 10 or 15, 10, 12, 15 dollars off it, to me it's worth it. If this was my size, I would absolutely keep it. So, it is out of print, and it's a Pride and Prejudice sweatshirt. Pride and Prejudice is in the top five of my favorite movies, but it's this like heather charcoal gray with this white design with the peacock and everything. And then it's got the uh, kind of raw scoop neck, but I just, I thought this was gorgeous. I was sad it was not in my size, um, but I know that someone will love this. Uh, I can just picture having this on, on a cold day, drinking a cup of coffee and reading a good book. Uh, so this is 90 cents and I'm hoping for about 18 to 22 on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this, I had never heard of this. Um, I just picked it up. I thought, oh, let me look and see. And this is one of those times when you don't know what something is. Uh, just take a look. It is YMLA. It is a men's like a polo golf style shirt. It's a polyester blend, uh, size large and a charcoal gray and it's a ribbed. Uh, so I looked it up and comps on this, they're looking, I probably get about 20 to $22 on this. And the cost on this was 90 cents. So not bad. Just goes to show if, you, if you're not sure on something and you see something that's in good shape, um, just take a quick peek, you know, online and see what the comps are. All right, this next is another pair of shorts. These are Democracy, size four. Just the, the almost cut off style raw hem. Um, you can wear them loose down or you can cuff them up. I will probably, in the first photo, I'll probably uh, 
have them cuffed and then in one of the other photos show them with the raw hem but it's just a dark denim here's the tie back there um, just to stake a pair of shorts i had never heard of this brand before so again i looked it up uh, these cost about a dollar and i'm hoping for about 20 to 22 dollars on these The next thing I'm telling you this day, all the dresses, it just took me back to having uh, when my little girl was, was little. Well, she's not my little girl anymore. She's, like I said, she's going to, about to be 21. But this just screamed holiday dress also. So it is Jolene, made in the USA. I believe it was a size 12. Yeah, size 12. Let's get back again so you can. It is this navy and red rose floral pattern with a navy velvet bodice area and then like the hems or the sleeve cuffs. Uh, I just thought this was so cute. Very pretty. It's just like this. So this here costs 70 cents on this one also. I'm hoping for about $20. It does show here that it was supposed to have a belt. Uh, it doesn't. I will disclose that and they can either trim it off themselves or it would be very easy to go to the fabric store and get some uh, navy velvet or something to oh, just slap myself in the face there. Um, to add their own belt with it. <clears throat> Next thing I picked up, main thing I picked this up, lightweight, uh, but it's a pair of boys Marvel Captain America swim trunks. They were in great condition, no holes, uh, not a lot of fading. These right here, my cost on it was 40 cents. I went for about 10 to 12 dollars on it but make some little boy happy next spring or summer next thing this is the first time that i have found this uh, out so i was excited about that it's a pair of page pants uh, size 28 these are the peggy sue they are A stretch. Well, let me see what the contents are on it. Rayon nylon and spandex, but you can definitely feel the stretch on them. But it's just a skinny leg black pants. Just some black pockets on the back. <clears throat> so these. Uh, the cost was about a dollar and on these I'm hoping for about 30 to 35 so I was happy with that that was one that it was on my list that I have been hoping for so I was glad to find those this next item here is Sigrid Olsen Sigrid it's a size 10 um, on this one, my cost was about $130. It is a long jacket. And it buttons on the inside. Let me show you here. I just thought this was beautiful. It's black and white. It's got kind of a, you can tell it's kind of, like an abstract kind of a floral pattern there <clears throat> and to me it's got a kind of got that like Asian feel of a jacket which that might be something I use as a keyword in the title so this was a size 10 let's see what the fabric content is on this I don't think it's 
Oh, 68% silk, 32% cotton. Um, but it was great condition, no holes, no stains, anything like that. So the cost on this was $1.30, and on this I'm hoping for about $35 to $40. And just a few more items. Next thing was just this Champion sports bra. It's a Champion Power Core sports bra, size medium. Let's see, we've got a thing there. So this cost was 25 cents and hoping for about 10 bucks on this. This right here is a new brand to me, Allen Wise. It is, what size is it? Size 14. It's just this. denim look it's not denim material but a denim look skirt it's got the front pockets this uh, this cost was about a dollar 25 i'm only hoping for about 15 to 18 on this um but i just picked it up because it was in really good condition and you know I don't have a problem turning $1.25 into $15. The last item I picked up, I was really excited to find these because they were in great condition. 5'11 tactical pants. Uh, I'm very familiar with those. Uh, my oldest daughter and my son-in-law are both police officers, so I know all about the 5'11 tactical things. Um, these are in navy. They are 36 by 30. I was very excited. And then when I started going through everything, when I got it home, the zipper was broken. But I am going to just disclose that in the listing. And uh, what I'm, I'm going to do is just mark it down some. So with the broken zipper, I'm still hoping to get about 25 maybe 22 to 25 dollars on these so my cost was two dollars um it, the the return could have been a lot more but like i said because of the broken zipper um and i don't know i normally check all of the zippers check all the buttons all of that kind of stuff and make my decision um there in the store i also just noticed dang it it's missing a button there that's okay that's something easy that somebody can put back on there. Um, I still would have picked these up um, because the the resale value on them is, is good. And they're in, besides those two items, they are in excellent condition. I mean, they, they almost look like they've never been worn before. Um, <clears throat> but it just goes to show, even when you check and check and double check, uh, triple check things when you're out, when you get home, uh, and you're going through things that it, some things get missed. Some things happen once you're, um, like, I don't know, uh, the button obviously was missing in the, you know, when I picked it up, but, um, I, I don't know when this ever broke. But, so that is it. That was the last item. So, a recap on this. I spent $30 on the items um, that I'm going to be reselling. It was 28 items, and I'm hoping low and high end to get somewhere between $650 to $750 on these. So, it wasn't a bad day. I probably only spent about three or four hours that day at the bins. Um, so, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this kind of content, uh, you can subscribe down below and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I have new videos up. Uh, if you did like this, please give me that thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you soon. As always, always be kind, live your best life, and make every day count. Thanks. Y'all have a great day.